We have an exciting contest here today between New York Pony and Washington, D.C. Truck Stop. Monroe, a big around backhand there for McDonald. As you're looking to punch it in. And then the high release there, the jerk, just short of the end zone. No one wants to hold the dish for very long in this D.C. offense. They're, they're going to try to keep it moving. And this in, up ahead there for Jurek for goal number one here in the men's final. Still weighing his options there is Chris Kotcher. And a, a little bit of a dangerous bit into the body of Keegan. Keegan all right. Good handler defense in the reset space. Quick turn there for Pony. Truck stop and opportunity to capitalize. Trucks D clamping down in a, in a vital position, able to get them in a high stall count and then apply the pressure. And there's the break. S big swing over to Harper Garvey. Back to Keegan in the middle. Mako unleashes a forehand into space. This one will be caught, and that's the score there for Pony. Chris Kotcher into the... Yeah, Norbaum arguing that uh, the disc was dislodged from his hands, and that's why he didn't make the catch and bounds. It seems like a... Fair call on his part. Truck stop trying to capitalize there on that ruling, and they will punch it in. There for the score is Tyler Monroe. And already you can sort of see those isolations setting up for Pony downfield. Now looking for Randolph, and Randolph, an uncharacteristic drop. Great patience, Cranston. Now looking for the around. Miri had a fake stare from Norbaum. Into Hess, right on the end line, and finds Norbaum there for the score. A break for Truck Stop. They go up 4-1. to one. By putting these two together and getting them a lot of interactions. Nickel creating separation there with that shoulder. McKeegan. What an upline move there by Mikkel. Carving up yardage, then working it down to Ben Yacht. Clean offense there from Pony. Good help defense by Randolph to stop the give and go. And this end turning on a shifty jump cut. McDonald trying to shake loose again, doesn't get open. And now just having to put up a prayer into space to Roy for the score and that will count there for truck stop, five to two. Over to Ben Yacht. And Yacht uncharacteristic. Turfing that one might have been deflected there on the mark for truck stop. It's Musa Dia now looking for an option. Now big around into the end zone for the score. Jeremy has 6-2 truck stop. Way close to midfield. This one floating in the area, dangerous. But Randolph, great pursuit of the disc to read it the whole way. Now Randolph setting one up in the air, but great positioning and an even better read there in the end zone. What a play there by John Lithio. Little in the crossover role for Pony this point. Jurek. A good movement across the field, opening up the width. And the McDonald, the McDonald, a backhand in the space there for Malks. Another clean hold there for Truck Stop. And working it down the field is Randolph. Now over to Keegan, who made the deep cut. Up ahead to Lithio, trying to tow the back line. And just out in front, not able to corral the disc. No resistance on that possession. So another break opportunity here for Truck Stop. But Lithio stepping in the fray to get the block. Short field now for Pony. Mickle to Yacht as they capitalize there to get the, the hold. And this in around to Norbaum and they continue to work it. Monroe. Trying to free up and a blade into McDonald. That's a tough decision right there on the goal line. Antoine Davis shooting deep and pulling a pair of defenders with him. And so Pony's got some room underneath if they can move the disc. Now an immediate shot looking for Ben Yacht into the end zone, and he's able to corral it with two. There's a break for Pony. You're going to start to have to ask questions about what teams you really believe in. All 
Hawks inside there for Monroe. Now to Boxley. Boxley the backhand into Bartlett there for the score. There's nothing down the field, but finally able to find an open cutter in Kotcher. And this D.C. defense really uh, putting in the sweat equity. I mean, they are, they are grinding out there. Kotcher here with the disc. Unmarked. Now stepping through and finally squeezes one in into Ben Yacht, who's been feasting in the end zone when Pony has capitalized. McDonald looking. And inside, that's dangerous, and Antoine Davis runs through to deny it. So trying to capitalize now. Davis left open underneath, then throws a flick floating into the area and just landing out of bounds. Yeah, I think DC a little intimidated by Antoine Davis' speed because Jerk has gotten a, maybe 10 yards behind him on a couple of occasions, uh, but DC has chosen to look elsewhere. Boxley inside, a nice blading flick up ahead to Rowan McDonald. 9-6. Mickle weighing his options, finally finds an underneath and Kotcher. Kotcher, a nice pump fake to open up the lane. Now Mikko blading one over the top, threading the needle with precision. And again, we're seeing Pony make DC work for it in a way that we didn't see them do in the first half. And what a great job getting back to the disc. And he's fired up. Now Spielman weighing his options, trying to find an opening. It's cluttered. Backdoor jerk trying to get the D. That was an awesome poach by Jurek, but an even better response by Lindsley, showing his experience. Now going up the line, Jurek getting a hand on the disc. Looks like the card's actually going to be retracted there. I think Gus Norbaum saying, uh, saying, hey, I don't know if that's, if that's a card situation, or hey, maybe you misread that situation. Norbaum trying to stay with it. Monroe now to Boxley, and they're able to squeeze it in down the sideline. 10 to 7, truck stop. Some hesitance now. Players being told to clear the field, and I'm seeing the travel signal pulled out. Yeah, I, I, I think that the defense has a case there. Uh, a couple steps for Monroe in, in changing direction helps him get off that throw. Roll not a travel. Observers not, don't agree with me, though. It's a little more frequent to see them get into the stall five to eight range. Nickel busting down the field. Great up line now, up ahead to Ben Yacht. Small ball working out there for Pony. Very little room, but Boxley showing off the agility. And a great hand block there on the mark. Boxley running out of options, had to do a little backhand. Good movement to shake loose. There by Grant Lindsley. Now Lindsley up the line. This time will collect the disc, but it's just short of the end zone. And another sneaky inside handoff there to Conrad Schlor. Malks the center here at the brick mark. And now a deep look, looking for Cole Jurek in the end zone. And Jurek able to read it all the way. That had to have been a set play. DC Ultimate, uh, you know, in the, on the men's side, is, is, is fighting to get to that elite level. I, they've, they've been a consistent group, but... Now Mikkel sends one deep into space. Will it have enough room? And Kotcher not able to get it. I mean, that would have been the play of the weekend if he had completed it. A full stretch, full sprint layout toe in on the back cone. But now uh, approaching the red zone. Truck stop uh, able to get a break to put a dent in this pony comeback attempt. It's pretty inside now the around backhand for the score. There in the end zone. Now over to Keegan. Lithio trying to make something happen. Very tight angle. Keegan likes to fire one down the field to Yacht once again. Yacht punches it in there for Pony. I mean, here, go back and calculate how much yardage, free yardage, DC has had this game. And now an immediate deep look to the end zone for Boxley. 
Truck stop is pouring it on. 13-10. I mean, aside from Ben Yacht, is there anybody on the Pony O-line you feel like has had a particularly strong effort in this one? I, I, I wouldn't say so, and I, I think it's a lot of credit to this DC defense. DC defense has been excellent. Now there is Ben Yacht. Finally able to find Mickle. Now he shoots one deep into the end zone. And that was basically a layup over to Keegan. A pick call down the field. Up ahead to Nissen. Now looking for Monroe, and he's able to put on some hustle. Needing an outlet, having trouble, and a great layout attempt, but Harper Garvey able to keep possession alive. Yeah, New York not able to take advantage of that opportunity. And an even better layout there by Farah to get the disc back. Short field now for Chuck Stop. Now around there in the end zone, Musa Dia. That's game 15 11, Truck Stop over Pony as they win the 2022 Pro Championships.